G'day everyone, so on today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the variable vane oil pumps that are fitted to the PX series of Ford Rangers and what I believe is the common causes of them failing. So essentially how this pump works is the oil pressure is regulated via engine load and engine speed. So if we got low engine loads and low engine speed, there's obviously less pressure that is we're getting pumped by the oil pump at high engine speed and high engine loads. We've got more oil pressure that's been pumped by the oil pump. That's why they call it a variable vein because the pressure is varied depending on the load conditions. Now I'll admit that this is probably not the best design of oil pumps that are out there because what happens is the veins actually wear out over time and they can collapse what happens is you lose oil pressure it can potentially seize your engine if that happens but since all ranges are fitted with these oil pumps moving forward i'm going to discuss the things that you can do to prolong the oil pump life so you get the maximum k's out of your oil pump and out of your engine the number one thing you can do to prolong your oil pump life is regular oil and filter changes ford specify 15,000 kilometer oil change intervals in my opinion that is far too long you should be doing it at something like seven and a half thousand kilometers if you still run the factory egr system if you run a blanking plate you could probably do it every 10,000 kilometers but leaving it to the factory recommendation of 15,000 kilometers is far too long your oil is going to be way too black and contaminated at that amount of kilometers which is going to cause your pump to wear and fail prematurely so the number two thing you can do to prolong your oil pump life is running the correct viscosity of oil. So Ford recommends a 5W30 engine oil, which has a requirement or Ford specification of WSS M2C 913C. Now, if we look at Google and see what meets those specifications, we can see that Castrol Magnatech actually meets it but I would recommend going above and beyond that and running a full synthetic instead of Magnatech, which is not a full synthetic oil. Um, it's just gonna give you better protection of the oil pump, better protection of the engine through various conditions. We know diesels can run hot, especially if you're doing a lot of towing. So that full synthetic oil is just gonna give it that extra layer of protection when you need it. So the last thing that I wanna discuss is if you do own a Ranger and you are driving and you see your oil light come on, shut the car off straight away. I can tell you nine times out of 10, it's gonna be a failed oil pump. Cause you might get, you might see the oil light and you might think to yourself, oh, okay, it's just low on oil, I'll keep driving. Well, usually it's not the case. Usually it's a failed oil pump and you will get a warning because the oil light will come on. You will have about a minute or so to pull over to turn your car off and call a tow truck. If you keep driving with the oil light on, you're gonna seize your engine and at the end of the day, you're going to have to get a replacement engine. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you liked that video and I'll see you guys on the next one.